Hi and welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now today's video is going to be all about NPK. Now NPK is found on all plant feeds and for newer gardeners it can often be really confusing because what does NPK actually mean? Well if you're wondering that then this video is for you because I'm about to tell you so that you can make the most out of your gardens and choose the correct plant feed. So come on let's get cracking. So what exactly does NPK stand for when you see it on the back of plant feeds? Quite simply put, the NPK are the three main nutrients, also known as macronutrients, that all plants need to grow, thrive and fruit. Now the N stands for nitrogen, the P is phosphorus and the K is potassium. And us gardeners have a nice little rhyme that helps us remember which parts of the plants those three nutrients affect, and that is shoots, roots and fruits. So nitrogen is there for the shoots. Nitrogen promotes leafy growth in plants, meaning that all of the foliage you see is primarily driven by nitrogen-based nutrients in the soil. The next one are the roots, phosphorus, which really helps with a strong, solid root development. And the last nutrient is potassium, represented by its chemical symbol K. And potassium is known for fruiting, but also general plant health, making sure that plants are healthy and strong. So with these three different plant nutrients, you can make sure that your gardens are looking absolutely beautiful. But it's important to be able to work out how much of each is in your plant feed. So when it comes to working out how much of the macronutrients are in a certain plant feed, such as the amount of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, there's a really quick and clever way to find out. When you look on the back, you'll see an NPK symbol and then a rating of three digits. Each of the digits refers to the amount of the nutrient within the plant feed. So if you see NPK of 10, 10, 10, then nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium are all at a level 10. If you see, for example, 733, you know that nitrogen is at 7, then you've got phosphorus at 3 and potassium at 3. And that can give you an indicator of the amount of feed that is going to help different parts of the plant. High nitrogen feeds are there for leafy growth. High phosphorus feeds are there for strong root growth. And high potassium feeds, such as tomato feed, are there for fruits and flowers. If you've not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the red button to subscribe today. Also click the bell for notifications. We'll have access to hundreds of garden design hints, tips and hacks from me, the Garden Ninja. And best of all, it's free. So there we go. By simply understanding what NPK mean and the amounts in plant feed, you can work out exactly what purpose that plant feed is going to serve. Is it going to help foliage? Is it going to help root development? Is it going to help fruit and flowers? Or is it a general purpose plant feed such as 777? And by knowing this, you can make better decisions when buying plant feed and really tackle the problems that you're trying to address. If you've liked this video, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel where I've got hundreds of garden design, hints, tips and hacks to help you make your garden spaces amazing. I've been Lee Burkill, the Garden Ninja. Make sure you subscribe. Bye for now.